for U.S. Senate will meet this week for their third and final debate before Election Day. But a debate over the weekend may have left viewers with questions about their claims. Political reporter Jessica Arp clears up some of it for us in tonight's Reality Check. Saturday night's WBA debate covered a range of topics from health care to immigration, but we wanted to zero in on some things that may have left you wondering, including this claim from State Senator Leah Vukmir, where she said she did not support changing the drug scheduling of marijuana. The Department of Drug Enforcement at Education has said that marijuana is highly addictive, even more addictive than Vicodin and meth and other drugs. This is misleading. We could find no published data from the DEA saying that marijuana is more addictive than meth. Marijuana is scheduled higher on the DEA's ranking than meth, but that is largely based on a drug's medical value. Cannabis is a Schedule I drug, defined as drugs with no currently accepted medical use and a high potential for abuse. Methamphetamines and Vicodin are both Schedule II drugs. Those are drugs with high potential for abuse, with use potentially leading to severe psychological or physical dependence. Baldwin, in turn, then raised some questions about where Vukmir stands on climate change and the EPA. My opponent not only disputes climate science, and I'm learning today that she also uh, is disputing some of the science behind cleaner energy sources, et cetera. But she also would see uh, fitting to eliminate the Environmental Protection uh, Agency. This needs clarification. Baldwin's team points to statements that Vukmir made, agreeing with the conservative radio host that the EPA wasn't needed, saying that the EPA duplicates what happens at the federal and state level. Vukmir's campaign reaffirmed in a statement to News 3 that she believes we do not need, quote, duplicative regulations, but said it was dishonest to say she thought the EPA should not exist. The candidates have also been trading barbs about newly confirmed Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. And Senator Baldwin decided after 48 hours, 48 hours after she was announced, it was announced that Judge Kavanaugh was going to be the pick, Senator Baldwin said she wasn't going to support him. And you didn't even have the decency, Senator Baldwin, to even meet with Judge Kavanaugh. You had your mind made up. The way you make an appointment with a nominee is to go through the nominator, which is the White House. I am among dozens of senators who were denied the chance to meet with him. This needs clarification. Vukmir points to the fact that Baldwin put out a release 48 hours after Kavanaugh's nomination. Baldwin's July statement said she did not think he would be a, quote, fair, impartial, and independent justice, and that she would not support his confirmation. But Baldwin says she tried to meet with Kavanaugh, sharing emails from her office asking seven times for a meeting starting on August 22nd. Published reports from the Washington Post show Kavanaugh met with 56 of 100 senators, including eight Democrats. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check. If you have an idea for a reality check, send it to us at realitycheck at channel3000.com. There's some renovation.